Fun times versus spiritual pixel art. Choose one topic and the server will vote for winner. Let's make it happen. Style will be taken into account, along with creativity and technical skill. Give us a one we can do it. Your fish will be. I want to give you a bit more of a challenge. Lion fish. You can do any species. Let them fight. Alright guys, so this is my little commentary over my lionfish pixel art creation here. I thought, you know, doing the um, speed paints with just music is a little cheap, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk through the process here. Now, whenever I start a pixel art, I find a reference image, and I kind of just try to get the basic shape down so I can kind of figure out what I'm going to be working with. Now, you can see here, the photo I was actually working with was not the best in terms of pixelation because those little fins they have on the side, or they're not little, they're quite large, couldn't really be captured from the image I was going based off of, so I definitely changed it a little bit. But um, generally the idea with pixel art is to capture as many details as you can, but in a simplistic way. And that's basically what I was trying to do here. You know, I was trying to get all the little, the spines along the back, I was trying to get the large, um, segmented fins along the side, which you can see there. I was trying to get all the colors down and I was also trying to make the fins um, accurate in both shape and color. Now at the start here, I do the back back fin white. However, the background color I'm working with, gray, does not contribute to this well because it's too similar. And um, I later figured out how to fix this, but it was pretty simple. I just put it on a different color background. But yeah, you can see I take the colors from the reference image and that's easily that's the easiest way to get accurate colors because sometimes you think you're using the right color but then you go back and you're really not so uh, that that's my tip for you guys is if you're gonna make something realistic definitely just straight up suck the colors right out of that photo because then you're gonna get the most accurate looking thing you can now you can see I messed a lot with that bottom fin there I was really struggling to get the shape right but in the end I think I got it and you can see there I even um, drew the fin on the original image to see if it would look accurate now this creature was actually incredibly difficult to do. If you look at any of my other pixel art fish, they're not that complicated. Because pixel art thrives on simplicity. So when you've got a fish with so much detail going on, the, the one I did for um, Jim there on the side, that one's about as close to this level of detail I've ever tried, but this one was still a lot harder. There's a lot of colors in a lionfish, there's a lot of fins going around, there's a lot of things poking out everywhere, but I think in the end I got it pretty well. You can see me fiddling around with the details here. I went back and forth between using um, black uh, as like the little dots in the fins, but then I decided to go with red to keep a consistent color scheme. And I think that's one of the keys as well is that Doing some crazy multicolored fish isn't going to turn out well on pixel art. It's just, it's unlikely to. This was incredibly difficult. This is easily the hardest one I've ever done. I thought Flip the Dolphin over there was the hardest, but definitely not. This guy was actually, like, obscenely difficult, but I'm quite happy with the outcome. Now, yeah, I'm just kind of screwing around with the fins here. The tail fin was incredibly difficult, actually, because I was stuck between deciding if I wanted to go with the proper colors or not, because... You can see here, it looks better than it did before as the white tail, but this is not accurate. And sometimes you have to forego accuracy for something that looks better. Now, I'm gonna completely destroy this logic in a few seconds here, but yeah, that's basically the lionfish. Now, this is where it looks like it's done, but it's actually not done, and I'm gonna show you that in just a sec here. So, you can see here, there are three variations of lionfish. Here's the one you just saw, and then what I try to do is, I, I, I tend to work with a, um, I like to work with a certain scale of characters. I don't have a set one, like I don't have a box I try to fit them into, but I have two styles of pixel art, I guess. I have the small ones here and I have the larger ones. Like these guys over here, these guys are much larger in comparison. If I put one of these guys next to my the scale I use for my fish or my fruit characters, it's a lot bigger. Now, generally I try to stick with the same scale. You can see out of the fish characters, most of them are the same size. Obviously, you know, the Pleco is way bigger than say Hoots over here or they, um, this guy over here, right? And uh, this one's obviously a lot larger, and sometimes you scale it up, but generally they're all sort of the same size. Now this guy, I don't know, I was feeling he was too big, and maybe if I simplified him, made him a bit smaller, it would make things better. So I have these two variations here. Now, this one I did like, but this one I definitely didn't like, but again, I was just experimenting. Now, what I ended up doing in the end is, uh, I'll put a picture of Fun Times' um, finished work in the end. 
it's pretty cool. It's not the same species as mine, but I think it's pretty awesome. But he put his on the Discord background color, and I'm like, oh, why don't I do that? And here you go. Here's the final result. Now you can see in comparison, bring it down here. I made a few alterations. For one, there's a bit more detail to the uh, spikes along the top. I don't know what they're actually called. And uh, you can see I also incorporated some like empty spaces here with the uh, background color, which works a lot better than up here because the gray is so similar. If I do that up here, you really can't tell like that there's anything going on there. Like that just looks like a different shade of gray in the finage. But here it's quite obvious, you know, what it, I'm just trying to create more detail. I was also able to make the back, fin, the tail fin, uh, the original colors I had wanted. It's not the most accurate fish I've ever done, but I think it definitely looks like a lionfish. And because of how difficult it was, I'm actually quite proud of it. But uh, yeah, that's the outcome of this. I hope you enjoyed my little commentary here. I'm going to try to do more of these in the future. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm the Spiritual Fish Lad. I'll see you in the next one. They are both very good. You both win.